Hi, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great uh, night tonight. Tonight I want to take a look at getting your Gmail a little bit more professional with a signature and I'll show you some websites how to get a professional signature. It's free to use, very simple to use. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first of all, when you uh, want to add a signature to your Gmail, what where you need to go is to your settings up here and then just click on settings and you're gonna see uh, down here in the middle where it says signature. You can type whatever you want uh, right in this spot, right in here. Uh, and then uh, when you hit save, it's gonna come up. So just as an example, if I just type Jamie Keat, and if I hit save changes at the bottom, and then I go back to compose, you can see that this Jamie Keat is gonna be at the bottom of any email that I send here but I wanna make it a little bit more professional uh, than that. So uh, I'm just gonna go back to my settings uh, and I'll just leave it there. And I'm gonna go to a website uh, called uh, this one right here and it's New Old Stamp. Actually, there's about three, two other ones I'm gonna show you too, but I'm just gonna give the example in this one here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a free signature. There are options that you can get with sign up that gives you a few more options when creating and maybe you'd, maybe you'll wanna do that, but I'm just gonna use the free one for this example. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit free here. Uh, then I get brought to this uh, information over here and I already put some of my information in this uh, when I'd made one before and it's already saved in here. But you can see all you have to do is uh, go through here and put your name in. <clears throat> excuse me, and then whatever company name, any title that you want in here, some phone numbers, uh, website, email, address, you just go ahead and fill all those things in. Um, I already have my Facebook and Twitter uh, information in here. So all you would do if you go to your, uh, go to your, uh, the site, or if you have a web page for whatever, maybe yourself or business, just go ahead and copy uh, this and then just go back down into here and paste it. And that's the same thing with Twitter here too. You can copy or put your username and then just go back and then uh, go into here. And then you can see it populate as you go through here. This at the bottom will be links. And when you hit save um, at the end, now it gives you some choices to put it into uh, different your emails and we want to put it into a Gmail here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my Gmail here and you can see I have th this right here and it tells me step by step what I'm gonna have to do uh, copy this and paste this over uh, so uh, I'm gonna hit select here I'm using Mac so I'm gonna hit my command C if you're using a piece PC you would use your control C and I'm gonna go over to here and to the spot I'm gonna just delete this one here and I'm just going to hit uh, command V and if you're on a PC, PC it would be control uh, control V and I hit command V there. Uh, so you can see it go, went in here and all I have to do is hit save at the bottom here. And then now if I go over to hit compose, this is going to be at the bottom of all my emails and it gives the link right to my, uh, you know, the Facebook page or Twitter right inside of it. So you can get more information to uh, whoever you're sending each time and it looks very professional uh, each time. Uh, as you notice, I had a picture in there too. I kind of skipped over that quickly, but you can see I already have the image in there and I just browsed uh, and then selected it and uploaded it and you can choose those options there. So new, uh, new old stamp is in your own the option I'll put links to all these uh, but here's a different one here we have HTML sig here that will uh, do a similar thing and we have Y stamp here uh, that could create some very professional email signatures I uh, do remember uh, they sometimes if you kind of want uh, the nicer looking ones you would uh, have to pay for it but the free ones uh, do come out very uh, nicely too so I hope you like these uh, this tech tip for tonight with the Gmail signature if you have please share it with a few other people and give it a thumbs up I remember Remember, I do these weekly tech tips, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.